How is this ever? These numbers. Celta Vigo at pl uh, plus 185. Villarreal, my side, the Yellow Submarine, at plus 155, who looked outstanding last week. Someone's injected them with an old bit of confidence. And I tell you what, it's one touch, two touch, let's get it forward. Which, under Unai Emery, it was seven touches, eight touches, let's go backwards and sideways. The draw is at plus 230. I still got to repeat that. Villarreal, plus 155, and minus 120 for draw no bet. Villarreal, plus 160 to score twice. I'll start with you then, Paco, because Villarreal, very impressive last week. Not just because they beat Real Madrid, but in their shape and in their manner of wanting to attack. Yes, I'm going to, as I said uh, before the show, I'm going to try to get as much water out of this well as possible. And speaking about Villarreal, last week I was pretty confident that they would get out something positive of their game against Real Madrid. I went with the draw, no bet. So, uh, you know, pretty on the plus side for Villarreal in that sense. And I'm going for it this, this week as well. I think that the, the odds for Villarreal are amazing you know are massive especially if you see the way they have performed so far in the two games after the the world cup break they are already three wins in a row they are already climbing into the european spots and most of all you can see all of the squad coming together all of the players in form gerard moreno you know slotting right in after his long-term injury parejo bossing the midfield you have um you have uh, nico um, you have uh, Jeremy Pino scoring. You have many, many players, you know, coming slowly into the, you know, the tip-top shape. So in that sense, especially after comparing with with Celta and the way they have come into the, you know, after the the World Cup, um, the manager trying to do something different to what we were used to see with uh, Chacho Coudet back in the day. You have always Jago Aspas. You can rely on him. So, you know, after checking out the odds and seeing the, the, the form of both sides, I had to go with the, the Villarreal money line. And even if some of our viewers want to play it safe, the draw no bet for Villarreal, mm, you said minus 120, I think it's also pretty great value in that sense. So overall, Villarreal should be the, game, the way to go in, 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 this, in this game because I don't really see the way they are going to break or, or cut uh, shorter their streak of... of both good play style and uh, good results. No, 100%. I mean, Villarreal were plus 160. Too big. Now, now plus 155. For me, too big. Score two goals, plus 160. I see Aspas Pavlos being isolated against a Villarreal side who don't mind defending. And I just see him just being up there, one against three, one against four, and Villarreal tearing Celta apart. Listen, there might even be a piece of me that says Villarreal wins to nil. Um, you know... I, I wouldn't be so, you know, I'd, I'd be very careful about the, the scoring here. I try to, you know, find ways to justify anything that, um, you know, try to make sense of these odds because uh, I thought there was something that I'm missing. So um, VR plus 150 something and then which means that you can get the pick'em. Uh, and get the you know the safety of a draw, which I always I always love you know because if you go, if you pick the pick'em and it's a draw, then uh, your your bet is pushed. And uh, you know this uh, Celta Vigo side have been really weird. Uh, the only statistical category and the only case I could make for Celta Vigo, if I was um, you know forced to, um, they allow uh, very few shots on goal, uh, fewer than Villarreal, and they have themselves more shots on goal than Villarreal. However, these numbers were, um, you know, from a different era when Villarreal were under a, a different coach. Uh, they went through a tough, uh, you know, stretch um, in between coaches. So we should take uh, some of these results with a grain of salt. Now, uh, Villarreal, they're in full, full steam right now. Even before the, um, the World Cup break, they, they're now, they've won five and one draw uh, in the last six. So, um, and more importantly, they've been really good in this venue. Uh, I think they've lost just one uh, of the last 10 matches in this venue. So um, traditionally, they're really good. So I take these results um, you know, very seriously, those historical results. So I like uh, Villarreal in this occasion, but uh, my pick is just offers a little bit of safety as well. But Villarreal have far more creativity than Celta. They have more pace. They also have more running off of the ball, which is then going to affect Celta. Because for me, Celta are very mechanical at the moment. And they look to that one talisman up top, Aspas, who, by the way, will be dwarfed. He's probably five foot nine on stilts. Whereas, <laughs> whereas the Villarreal defenders are like 6'2". 
I ju- and they don't come out of their holes. I mean, I think this, the only way Celta Vigo score is from a set piece where someone's switched off with their marking. Let's have a little look at the official picks. But I'm sure that the Villarreal at plus 155 has got to be all over. There's Paco, plus 155. His eyes lit up. Villarreal, plus 155 for me. And uh, a little bit conservative, but I suppose that could be a banker of Villarreal. Draw no bet at minus 120. So we found great value there.